So I had to redo the video. I just wanted to give a new intro with the landscape. <laughs> I didn't notice that I put it in portrait view. So this video, again, is going to be about using the S1 X-Tool 20 watt um, laser engraver in order to in order to engrave and or etch on a pint glass. So if you guys are interested, check it out. It came with this box of um, tools in it. I'm not tools, but like different type of blanks. And some of the blanks in here was like a coaster and an acrylic sheet. So the acrylic sheet I cut out and I wanted to use it as a jig to make some wallet size so it fits right in there and then you can use that so if you guys are interested in a video on this I'm going to be doing this one next but today I want to show you guys how I was able to engrave this glass using the S1 20 watt laser okay so the first, so the first thing that you want to do is you want to get your glass and I'm going to use the same one and let me see if I can find a, something to hold it. Give me one second. I couldn't find what I did with the little holder, you know, like where you could put it on top. But anyways, what you're going to do is you're going to take some black paint or whatever dark paint that you have and you're going to paint it on the surface. So I'll come back once I'm able to do that since I can't hold the camera at the same time. So once you have the area that you want it to engrave paint it, then let it sit here and dry and I'm going to show you the settings. Make sure you have your, your um, engraver turned on. So like I said, I have the X-Tool 20 watt. I have it set up in here so you can just put this together and then this is where you attach it right here at the front. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna place your glass in here. So you just line it up in here. So I'm gonna place the glass in there. So then you wanna get the glass on there. You're gonna take your key and you're gonna twist it. Let's see. Kind of make sure you if you can center it on there to where you have the paint towards the center and then you're going to tighten this so that it's on there good then what you're going to do is you want to make sure this is level so this is just on a table underneath it we don't have the tray in and so what we do to level it is you just try to get some different things so this like I said came with it this little coaster so I just put the coaster under to see like if it will hold it in place and it has like the little grip feet on the bottom too which is nice and then you just put the level on there it's not dry but then you just put the level on there and then um let's see if I put it on this side yeah so we have to wait for this to dry, so we'll come back to this to make sure it's leveled. So what you're going to do next is you're going to go into Excel Creative Space, and you're going to make a square. So this is what I did right here. So I just went here. Um, insert a rectangle. I should say a rectangle. And I literally just sized it how I wanted it. So that's the square, I mean the rectangle. So in my case, I took the square, I unlocked this and I made the square. Let's get rid of this one real quick. Wait. And I made this square 90 by 60 and I have it on the millimeters 
and then I insert it or I put my image in so I went here got my image found my image and I imported it and then I took my image and I rotate it right here to 270 so up here to 270 so that it rotated in this direction and then for the square I have it on ignore right here so it's not going to cut that but that's just where it's going to like um, have like the square for the framing Okay, so then you're gonna get your image. And like I said, I rotated it so that I can get it to fit inside the box. And I wanna line it up with the laser. So I'm gonna go, so you see how the laser's right here? I'm gonna move the laser so that it goes in this area and then I'm gonna line this box up. So I'm gonna take the laser. Kind of put it in the area where I want it. Okay. So now you see that the laser is right here. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to line it up. You see how that line, how it comes kind of like it lines up with it. And I'm going to do the same with that until I see that line. You see the line go in there? Okay. So then for the image, I'm going to make sure that it is on. Let me make sure I have the image because I don't have the image. Make sure you have the right stuff. <laughs> so the image, oop, gonna move that to line it up. Okay. Okay, so it's lined up. And then I'm gonna put engrave output. And then I'm gonna put it on power 100. Speed, I'm gonna go for seventy-five. I'm gonna do two passes and lines for a second. I'm just gonna leave everything else the same, just leave it how it is. And then I put it on stainless steel dog tag and I have it on Chuck. I have my perimeter on 265. So I measured it with the measuring tape and this automatically adjusted it. So for the distance, what you're going to do is you're going to push this button here, but first you want to put it on the center. So you go over here. And you wanna make sure it's dry first. It still looks like it's not dry, so that's not gonna be helpful. So let's give it a chance to dry and then I'll come back. So you keep adjusting the level on here until you get this to be right in the center, the bubble. And then then you're gonna line this up exactly where you want it. So if you want it to be more up towards the top, and you just try to get it to where it's centered as best as possible. And then you're gonna come back here and hit this distance button. And then when it's done doing that, you're going to hit framing. 
So then you're gonna push this button right here and then you're gonna see if it frames it right. So make sure when it's framing it, it's all in the black. So I'm gonna hit it again because it looks like it's, it went too far. Yeah. So that's not gonna work. Okay. So let's do framing complete. It's because the laser moved right here. It's the center. But that's not the center on here. So what we want to do okay. So if that's there, we're gonna move this whole thing. So let's see. Let's move it. Give me a second. Try to make sure this is as straight as possible going this way. Okay, now we're gonna do this again. So I'm gonna put the laser here. Okay. And then I'm going to move this box to where it's lined up. Let's see. So move it to where it's lined up, about there, and then I'm going to take this and move this too. I don't know why sometimes you can't move this thing. There we go. And then keep moving this until you get that line too. You see how that line popped up? All right, how does that look? Let's see, I'm gonna move this box up a little bit. Fine, and then this, let's see. Move that out of the way. Line that up there. And then grab this one right here. And then move this until you see that line pop up in there too. Okay. So then once you have that in there, I'm gonna go back over here. See that it's centered. It looks good to me. So I'm gonna go here again and push this. Just double check it. Go back here and we're gonna hit framing again. Push this button. Make sure when it frames it, all the black is in there. So if you got any that you didn't paint and it gets that, make sure you take it out and either repaint it or try to reposition it like I did. So now that you see that, the, that it's in there, let me show you guys one more time. It's only inside of the black, the square that it is. Okay. Then you're gonna say, framing complete. And then you're going to close your lid. And you're gonna do process. Start. When it says ready, then you push this button. 
and then make sure you got your goggles on. And then you can see. So I have glasses on, so I usually put my goggles over my glasses. So make sure you have your um, goggles on when you're looking at the laser, even though it does have that little shield on it. So far, five minutes and 48 seconds. And I think it's still doing the first pass. I put it on two passes because I the glass that I showed you the first time, so yeah, now it's doing the second pass. So you guys saw it did the first pass. See how it's all done. So now it's going over it a second time. So I'm gonna see if going over it the second time would make a big difference. So we used to the end product. You know what? It actually does look like it's getting a better engraving on the second pass. So I already see like parts in it that didn't have like it looked like it was like kind of like missing pieces it's actually correcting that on the second pass I can't remember but I believe that the one pass on the one side that I did first when I showed you guys first only took less than five minutes so so far this one is ten minutes and let me show you what I mean by the difference do you see like it's fast but you see how on the part that it hasn't um, double um, engraved on, how it's looking like it's not as smooth. And you see how it's getting smoother as it goes. You see that? Hopefully you guys can see that. All right, you guys. So this one took 13 minutes and 10 seconds. And mind you, it's based off of what your design is too. So this is how it's looking with the paint still on it and two passes. And so let me sh go to the sink and rinse it off and we'll see. So what you wanna do is just try to get the paint wet. And then you can just wipe it off. Like so. Okay, you Thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.